This activity is a simple way to show movement at the molecular level. So it answers the question, how do molecules move? And also, how does this movement drive diffusion? What happens when a substance changes state? What does that look like, again, at the molecular level? The video has three parts. The first two parts are directed toward the learner. So the first one is just me doing the experiment. So you can see kind of what it looks like, walks you through it. If you want to show that to your students, great, but that wasn't the main intent really for that, just to give you a sense of what's going on, how does this work. The second part is a digging deeper, what are some extensions that you could do with this experiment and go from there. And the third part is called teacher to teacher, and that's, again, just what you think it is. It's to give you some background information, possibly some little hints or helps or some substitutions. If you don't have this equipment, could you use something else? The written instructions are designed to go straight into the hands of students, so you can literally print and go. In our classroom, I don't even introduce the labs. I just hand them out the sheets and they get, they get to work. There are writing prompts that you can choose to use or not. The lab sheets are kind of like a worksheet, but they're a little bit different in the sense that they they capture scientific writing and they get kids in the mode of what does it mean to write like a scientist? And the writing prompts are the same, it's the same thing, but it's just distilled down to a tiny little prompt that you would tape in or, or refer to to use in, in more of a, a journal. There are answer keys for those writing prompts. There's also teacher notes, which is gonna give you some background information. Again, more of those hints and helps. You shouldn't have to do any outside research on this topic unless you want to. The video and the written materials are designed to support each other and, and they are completely independent so you can choose to do one or the other or you can choose to use both. So if it's easier for you to kind of watch, I don't understand what this is, watch it demonstrated, great. If it's easier to just kind of look at the written instructions, skim them over, see what you need, kind of get a sense of what's going on, and you'd rather do that than watch the video, great. And if you prefer to use both, it, you can do that. It's completely up to you.